So now that you understand buffers a little bit, it's time to take our boundary vertice locations and send them down to OpenGL and see if OpenGL will draw them for us. So let's go back to initialize GL and we need to create another buffer for these vertices. We created a buffer for these vertices before a long time ago. Now we need to create a buffer for these vertices. I technically could put them all into one buffer, but I think that's a little bit more advanced than we are right now. So let's just do it with separate buffers. I'm going to click on vertex buffer ID, hit F12 just to see where I put it. Looks like I put it in the header file in the class declaration. That's interesting because I put everything else inside of this unnamed namespace, thus making it static. Generally, I would put everything in here and not over here, but I think it's it's kind of easy to access things here, and I'm only expecting one instance of my GL window, and I'm trying to stay on the same screen, so uh, I really should put this over here, but uh, whatever. I'm actually going to move this. <laughs> Control X. I'm going to put it uh, right here, and then let's make another GLU int. Man, that's a small font. Another GLU int, and we'll call it uh, boundary verts buffer ID. I think that's a more descriptive name. And vertex buffer ID is not descriptive anymore. This is going to be ship uh, vertex buffer ID. Maybe we'll be consistent and say vertex right there. So control H on that and replace it with ship vertex buffer ID. Match case, match whole word. Replace all. Three occurrences replaced. Uh, we're good. And now we can use this ID to create a second buffer for these boundary verts. So let's go down here and say, let, let's, let's, let's step through it this time. GL, please generate a buffer for me. Gen buffers, a buffer object. I need one of them. And it's going to be address of boundary vertex buffer ID. Boundary and like so. And then... GL bind the buffer, bind buffer to the array binding point, array buffer, uh, bind the boundary vertex buffer ID. So I think it would be worthwhile to illustrate what I illustrated in the last video. Here we created a buffer object for the ship vertex. So I'll just say this is ship vertex buffer object. All right, and there's a difference between a buffer object a BO, a buffer object in the actual buffer. In the last video I showed you that the, the buffer or the actual data is is something that's stored in memory and for OpenGL, ideally on the graphics card. But the buffer object is just simply an object that stores state information about the buffer. For example, I showed you cows and moo count. Th those sort of smaller attributes are part of the object. Where the actual buffer, though, is the data in memory. So here here we created a buffer for the, the ship vertex buffer ID and then we have our binding points and the only binding point we're really concerned about right now is the array buffer binding point which basically means it's just going to be an array of bytes. No big deal. We bound this buffer to this binding point. So here's the here's the bind right there. And then we sent down the data, and or we didn't send down the data, we just said create room for the data on the video card. Again, here's the video card, and here is the memory in the video card, and we said we wanted enough memory for ship verts, which is three vertices, and I actually got this wrong in the last video. It's not four floats per vert, it's three floats per vert. Remember, we're using vector, vector 3Ds, so that's three floats per vert. I got that wrong. Anyway, so three floats, um, ship ship verts. There's there's three vectors. So three times three is nine times four. Thirty six bytes. We're saying make thirty six bytes out here, and we'll put data out here later. This is the actual buffer for this buffer object. And then we come down here and say, hey, make a make a boundary vertex buffer object. So let's. Uh, I'm running out of colors. Here, can we do yellow? Yellow doesn't show up very well. I'll just do blue again. Here is the boundary vertex buffer object. Boundary vertex buffer object we created right here by gen buffers. Then we said, hey, bind to that. 
bind to that. So now we've broken this link right here. This link's gone, and we've we've set up this link instead. And then what I want to do is say, hey, we have some data up here, don't we? This boundary verts. And I'm actually not going to change this data. Remember this one, we're always doing the transforms on, and we have to keep updating. Whereas this, hey, that diamond's going to be set forever and ever. So let's let's go down here and say GL buffer data to the buffer that's bound to the GL array buffer binding point. How big is it going to be? It's going to be size of boundary verts and it's going to be boundary verts boundary verts let me bring this down here so we need this much memory copy that from this pointer right here and by the way we're never ever going to have to come around and and change the data again so if you want to store that data away somewhere optimize it that sort of thing it's static it won't change whereas up here we're always changing this every frame we're going to update with the contents of this buffer here we're actually just sending the data down and we're done so this is the buffer object bound to the buffer the binding point and buffer data says hey go actually get me some memory for that and copy this data down so here we'll, we'll link this this actual buffer memory to this buffer object copy the data down so it actually copies our data down so there's there's two critical points there is it's it's critical that I bind to this buffer if I didn't change that link if I didn't change that link and left it bound to here then when I turned around and said buffer data and I pass in array buffer, it would say, hey, what buffer is bound to the array buffer? Well, it's this buffer, the one for the ship vertex. And so all my data for boundary verts would get sent down here, and boundary verts requires more room, and I already allocated the room, and that's I, 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 I don't believe I can allocate more. I've never actually tried, to be honest. But anyway, that's that's not where we want the data to go. We have to change this binding point to our new buffer object. So there we go. We've just sent the data down to the new buffer object and I believe we're done with that. Now all that's left is is to draw and we'll do that in the next video.